So I want to talk to you about the very moment, that moment, that defining moment. I knew, I knew that it was over. I knew that it was over. And see, at that time, I did not know that it was over. And I, I, as I learned about this whole situation of my divorce, my separation, my, um, my, my difficulty of trying to be a father in my daughter's life, um, as much as I could in, in my process of understanding why I'm going through the the system, the court system, the legal system, um, why, why I look back and I try to understand the moments that happened. And I remembered this moment and I remember the moment when I didn't know at the time, but I, I look back and I'm, I'm understanding everything now. I'm learning more. I'm trying to understand it. And you do, you have to understand these things. You have to under, you have to look back and understand why, because if you don't under, look back and understand why you're not going to be better, a better you in the future, because you're going to keep repeating the same old patterns. So you have to understand. I'm not ch trying to tell you to, to be, I'm just, sorry, I'm moving off topic here, but I'm not trying to tell you to 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 have toxic memories and and think of negative things that happened in the past but i'm trying to help to to understand these things don't live in that past but understand what happened learn from it and continue your journey on into better decision making better thinking better thought process better navigation throughout your life so you don't repeat the same old patterns i didn't know this at the time going back now the moment that i knew that it was over and I didn't know it at the time. And it has nothing to do with our, my child. And it has nothing to do with any of your children. Our children are innocent. They're innocent in this whole situation. All of them. Bless them. They're beautiful. They're beautiful souls. They're gifted to us. We owe them. But it was the day after my daughter was born. It was the day after my daughter was born. And I didn't know it at the time. But that was the moment when it would be the ending began. The day after my daughter was born, my daughter, my ex-wife had a difficult C-section and she had a difficult time. And we were in the hospital for three days after that. I stayed by her side the entire time. I did not leave her side. I, I stayed by her side before we went in there, while we were in there, the whole time we were in there and afterwards. And I never left her side and I was there for her the entire time. Um, she went through a difficult c-section she's a good person um, she put me through hell but the day after when the nurse was teaching her how to breastfeed the baby's new the baby don't know how to breastfeed just came out less than 24 hours ago she's a new mom she doesn't know how to breastfeed she just saw a video or two so she was learning how to breastfeed the nurse is teaching her how to breastfeed she doesn't know how and she was having a difficult time that difficulty of her trying to learn how to breastfeed was so traumatizing to her. I'd never seen the look on her face like that ever. Have I ever seen it on her face be after, before, any time? The look on her face looked like she was ready to die. She was in so much pain. She was shaking and shivering and fear and hurt and pain. It hurt me to see my ex-wife like that. But that was the beginning of her postpartum depression that continued on and led and was was led us into our difficult times and in our divorce. And I learned from that moment and I learned and I learned and I tried to understand all the things that had happened beforehand, because if we go back and we find love again, or if we go through, we navigate through different relationships that we may have, no matter what they are. We have to learn about ourselves. How did we adapt to that? How did we react to that? How should we look at things? We need to learn and understand our own selves through these, these situations in order to grow and succeed and navigate into a, a better people in the future. So what was that moment? Do you remember that moment when you knew it was over? Everything else had, had uh, was like hell that happened after that. But for me, I remember now that I learned more and I'm learning and I'm understanding more and I'm studying more and I'm trying to figure this all out with, about everything, not just relationships, 
everything, fatherhood, uh, work relationships, um, female, male relationships, friends, family relationships. I'm trying, I'm understanding so much more now and people and how they think and navigate that that was the moment. That's the moment I attached myself to, to understanding the end for me and my, my ex-wife. I love you guys. I hope you guys are doing awesome out there. Hey, love and respect all people and all things living. This is Rocky. Um, my email is at the bottom if you want to communicate with me. Um, my Venmo is at the bottom if you want to donate. And thank you so much for the donations. Andre, and we have another donation coming in too. And I want to thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. It means the world to me. You know how difficult we all have gone through this. Difficult times. Um as you can see right here i'm going through it right now but my other social media accounts are on there as well too and um yeah thank you so much for watching you guys if you want to communicate to me go ahead and um, leave your questions on my email my email is in the link on the bottom below it's uh rocky ella 84 at gmail.com and i wish you guys all the best i'll see you soon and i do go live now i'm starting to go live and so just before I go live, about 10 to 15 minutes before I go live, I post a post. So please subscribe and follow. If you subscribe and follow, it'll come up on your feed and it'll let you know. It'll give you a notification on your phone and it'll say, hey, Rocky's going live in about 10 to 15 minutes. And if you want to jump on, you're more than welcome to. And you can ask some questions or some good communication that um, goes on there with the guys. And so thank you guys for always being positive. Hey, take care, guys. We'll talk to you soon.